All right, so today we're going to update the firmware on the Femi X8 SE. Uh, first, I just want to put it out there that just because your device says there is an update, whether that be the app or the hardware, meaning the quad and RC controller, uh, just because it says that there's an update does not mean you have to do the update. Um, if you do the update just because it tells you to and then you experience problems, uh, that's your mistake. Anytime there's an update, go into wherever you get your best information, whether that be Facebook groups, YouTube, RC forums, and get educated on the update. See what other people are saying about it from their personal user experience. Uh, if they're reporting problems that uh, will affect the way you fly your quad, uh, the device that you're using, whatever it may be, uh, that's how you make the decision if you want to do the firmware update or not. So there, I, a lot of times people just say, hey, if, it's not, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, I hate that expression because firmware updates are put out for a reason and uh, you should update if it's something that is applicable to you. Um, so there's usually reasons for updates. There are usually fixes for cameras, for flight control, um, for signal strength, uh, you know, the different devices that you're using compatibility-wise, um, things like that. So uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. doesn't work for me. I say go get yourself an education on that firmware, learn about it, and uh, figure out if it's right for you. So we're going to do the firmware update, even though I've heard some negative uh, comments about it. Um, I don't know what all the update fixes are, but I know in my case, using my iPhone, I have no camera controls at all. I'm stuck in 4K and I can't change any settings. So I've got the latest updated on my phone. My operating system on my iPhone is, uh, I believe it's 12.1.2. And um, I'm going to update everything that the Femi tells me to, which is an, like an FC, a camera, it's, it's several things. So usually it'll tell you when you first open the app if there's an update. If not, uh, once you enter the interface, it'll tell you then. Uh, and then there's a third way you can go into the gear icon into the settings and click on firmware update and it'll tell you that way. So we're going to go ahead and just open the app. So it has not said there is an update yet. Let's go into enter device. And if it, there it is. So it says firmware update, please update new firmware. First off, there's two ways to do it, and we're going we're gonna to show you the first way, and then we're going to do it the second way. We can go into the settings, and I apologize, I don't remember exactly where it's at. I think it's down at the very bottom. Okay, so down here, this bottom setting, you're going to click Firmware Update, and here's see what it says here firmware update flight control 1042d resay re rc relay 1008d camera 1010d 1010b i'm sorry version 1036a so I am going to click update from there normally, but in this case, I'm not going to do that because there is another way that I want to show you that you will also come across as well. Okay. Opening the app, it will also tell you very first thing if there is an update. So this is the other way you can update your firmware. And we're going to do this. We're going to go ahead and start download. And it's downloading, and then you see it's loading fairly fast. OK. 
Okay, it's downloaded. Download completed. Enter device. Firmware update. Please update the new firmware. So we've downloaded it already. Now we're going to click update. And then again, it goes through all the settings or all the versions. Start update. And we'll see how long this takes. If it looks like it's going to take a long time, I will um, edit the video. I'm going to set this down. I think you can still see that fairly well. Okay, right here at about 50%, we're about five minutes into the update. And we are getting a beep. So I'm not sure what that's about. Still got a good battery percentage on the quad. I'm down to three bars here on the controller, so I don't think that's it. And I don't see it giving me any warnings or anything, so we're just going to ride with it because it's still going up. Right now on the quad, we have no rear light. Our front lights were flashing fast, and uh, they slowed down, and now they're flashing fast again. So through the update, you're going to see these little changes. Lights turned off. The beeping stopped. So now the quad's beeping. So it's just all interaction of the up, up, of the uh, update process. This sounds a lot more like a heart monitor to me. Hopefully, I don't flatline during the process. So, so far for the full update, it does take a little bit of time, um, but I like this because it's just one process. Um, I don't care how long it really takes. As long as it's easy, it doesn't give me an error right in the middle of it, and uh, it completes okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, update timed out. Please restart the device before updating. So... When my RC turned off, I think I need to restart it. Click update and it says ready to update. Start updating. And what it's doing is it's updating ESC. Almost done. It's at 97%. And this is still updating the ESCs, or ESC it's saying. All right, so that's a success. Okay, so our quad and our RC controller are fully updated. Um, everything went along kind of smoothly. I had that one little bit where I first tried to do the update where I did have an error and um, had to shut it down. And when I restarted, it, uh, it, it still gave me an error um, until I uh, shut everything down and... Um, close the app out totally and then reopen the app so I think that's what it took to get it to finally install um, I had to close and restart that app properly shut that off after you do an update please make sure you do all your calibrations and um, that way during the update process if anything changed um, you have done the proper tuning to uh, make sure you have the best flight experience. So hopefully this video is helpful for you. Um, if you have any questions or anything, just please comment below. And um, after this update, I'm going to be doing another video on the app itself. And then hopefully 
my camera settings and all that are are working with this update so thank you again everybody click that subscribe button give me that thumbs up and um, until the next time we'll talk to you later thanks